It's a fear that's only ever surfaced in a Hollywood movie script. NASA got a huge Christmas gift this morning with a huge meteor or a comet. Exoplanet orbiting the star of Proxima Centauri. <laughs> <laughs> My, the science clickbait news. NASA's preparing for Armageddon. The Chinese lunar rover spotted a mystery hut on the horizon. Astrologers have revealed the best wedding dates. No, wait, that's not science anymore. Although it might be just as reliable a fact as the news from some media outlets. There's a war for our attention, and 2021 was full of innocent victims. Some of the headlines were trying to resell us something we already knew and some of them were brand new scientific events. Today, I'll tell you about the manipulations that disappointed me the most, and you'll find out how did science news of 2021 deceive us? A giant comet from the Oort cloud is approaching us. You've heard that kind of stuff, right? Someone's in such a hurry to die out that hardly six months pass without another headline like A comet more dangerous than the one that killed the dinosaurs. They're trying to attract our attention by inspiring unnecessary fear. It's like they're grabbing a little kitten and threatening to drop an asteroid on it if we don't read the news. This news refers to a comet from the Oort cloud with an estimated diameter of around 100 kilometers. Its orbit will take it to the sun in 2031. It would seem to be a cause for concern, but its closest point to the sun is almost 11 astronomical units from it. That's 10 times further than Earth from the Sun. We know the location of 97% of approaching objects larger than one kilometer, and none of them will affect Earth, at least for another century. The only comets that can be dangerous are those we know nothing about. But of course, nobody can make scary news out of that. So the kitten's safe for now. In the meantime, I suggest we grab a can of beer, get down to the garage and make some discoveries. You guys don't think we can make it? Look at these two inventors who are, well, not having any luck either. Two scientists are building a real Star Trek impulse engine. You must have heard of stuff like this too. Regularly, like every couple of years, unrecognized geniuses appear, trying to shake the very foundation of science. Unfortunately, however, it's not so easy for garage scientists to change science. This time around, Hal Fearn and Jim Woodward suggest using their engine called Mega Drive to cut interstellar travel time down to within a human lifetime. The Mega Drive created by these scientists relies on certain controversial assertions of physics, such as Mach's principle, according to which distant matter can affect things in the vicinity. It defies scientific ideas, doesn't it? It's all part of the popular image. A scientist rejected by the scientific community, but who's actually decades ahead of it, invents something amazing right in the garage. The time machine, the portal gun, the Iron Man suit. Indeed, Farron and Woodward weren't the first to challenge NASA. For example, in 2012, a 62-year-old David Paris set about designing the so-called warp drive from the good old Star Trek. He was supposed to bend the space around the spaceship and let it move faster than light. Needless to say, after 10 years, the scientific community has never heard of any progress in this area. Similarly, Jim Woodward, for over 30 years, in the garage environment, at his own expense, by the sweat of his brow, hasn't invented anything. So you can't change science in your garage. It rarely turns out that way, even in state-of-the-art labs. It didn't work out for the next sensation either. But why, for heaven's sake, isn't it so easy to turn physics upside down? A tiny particle's wobble could upend the known laws of physics. And this time, it was published not somewhere in the tabloids, 
But in the New York Times, which has always been considered a reliable source of news, this news is about an experiment conducted in the particle accelerator at the Fermi National Accelerator Laboratory, or Fermilab, in Batavia near Chicago. Scientists investigated the properties of subatomic particles, muons. It was found that muons did not behave as predicted when shot through an intense magnetic field. The observations weren't consistent with the standard model that enumerates the fundamental particles in the universe and how they interact. Except, this experience upends physics no more than you guys doing experiments with particles in your belly button. I mean, shortfalls and gaps in the standard model were found more often than in the final season of Game of Thrones. Scientists have long known it doesn't describe gravity, dark matter, and dark energy. And this experiment is just another unremarkable step in the world's cognition process. But not a sensation. But it's not just physics to be blamed for being full of exaggerations. Everyone and their brother kept telling us about the James Webb Space Telescope launch. It's just beginning its work. But even before it was launched, we got breaking news from NASA. James Webb Telescope may detect artificial lights on Proxima B. But why do we have to put the discovery of aliens on hold? The possibility of finding life in the neighboring solar system turned the head of everyone, including me. They pulled the wool over our eyes, and we made a mistake in our video about the telescope. But now, I'll blow the story wide open. Trust me, because I'm definitely not an alien agent trying to hide our existence. I mean, their existence. Anyway, the news is that the James Webb Space Telescope will be able to detect LED lamps on the night side of Proxima b, which comprises 5% of the stellar illumination of the day side. That sounds like great news, but let's try to make the numbers clearer. Imagine an ordinary street lamp on Proxima b. For the telescope to see it, its power must be 500 times higher than that of the most powerful lamps we use on Earth. Why would someone need such power if they initially evolved to live on the dark side of the planet? Of course, we might hope they have their own Christmas. That's all about neighbors having a competition over whose Christmas house lights are brighter. However, I think the advanced alien race will have more important things to do. Either way, we're going to have to postpone snooping on aliens for now. May I have your attention, please? The information that rushes upon us through science news in an effort to get our attention is more like science fiction. It reminds me of how the year 2000 was portrayed in the 19th century. Now it's just ridiculous. Flying cops, whale buses, winged cars. If no one explains to people the meaning of what's happening in the world of science, they'll continue to imagine the future like that. Write in the comments what science news you think was really important in 2021 and what the future will be thanks to them. I am just a figment of your imagination.